Well, after the deal was signed in Brussels, it emerged that Eurozone leaders had seen an IMF report suggesting that the bailout numbers simply didn't add up. It led to growing anger not only on the streets here in Athens, but also among MPs of the ruling Syriza party. Our Europe editor, Katja Adler, has been exploring what another three years of pain will mean for the Greeks. This had been billed as Judgment Day for Greece, the day the Prime Minister tried to squeeze tough reforms through Parliament to prove to mistrustful creditors abroad that he was in control of the situation at home. But that's not quite as it turned out. The riots, the riots getting increasingly violent. If you just see that there's just fire bombs at these police demonstrators. The peaceful protesters have all disappeared from the street from these streets. They wanted a better future for their country. This is definitely not what they had in mind. The violence began with small groups of mass troublemakers. Until then, the thousands of protesters here had been peaceful, if angry. It's a prison for people. It's a prison for all. No education, uh, no health, uh, no, uh, no anything. Uh, we don't want Euro. We don't want to be in this prison of Eurozone. It's not just it's the all. Euro. Certain countries are being singled out for the harshest punishment. I just don't want it to go on like this. I have, I'm like 25 years old. I'm supposed to have a future. My brothers are supposed to have a future, you know? The atmosphere inside Parliament was stormy too. Many MPs are furious with the Greek Prime Minister for agreeing to a bailout deal which, in their opinion, humiliates their country. The Deputy Finance Minister has resigned in disgust. Why did you stand down, please? This can't, uh, uh, can't lead anywhere, both Greece and Europe. And it shows a dead end that not only us, but Europe uh, is facing. Europe will watch horrified these scenes of rage and distress in Greece. For years, people here have warned that under the weight of suffocating debt and spreading poverty, their society is stumbling and falling apart. Will their partners in Europe listen now? Katia Adler, BBC News, Athens. Well, the deal has raised as many questions as answers.